hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today we will learn about uh, how to set up ftp server on windows server 2016 so guys before go ahead i want to request you please subscribe my channel if you are a new user for my channel and uh, if this video will be really helpful please like and comment so let us start now so this is my uh, windows 2016 server and now i am going to show you how you can set up ftp server on windows server 2016 so guys you have to uh, roll you have to add role first so again i want to show you so you have to open server manager go to manage add roles and features click to next next and this is actually this is my dc dc server means domain controller server and on this server i want to set up ftp server also so again i'm going to click on next now we have to install roles wave service that is iis so just click and select add features click to next and uh, again click to next here you can see about ftp you can see here so just you have to select this and uh, by default after selecting selecting it is uh, ftp server is selected now click on next button click to install so guys it will take some time You can see, you can check from here management tools, IS, IS management console, web server, common HTTP features, default document feature, directory browsing, HTTPS error. These all features are installing. Security as we are uh, going to set up FTP server. So, security will be the uh, most important point for us so you can see here installation succeeded on tc test.land so this is my server name and now we are going to close this and uh, you can see here IS is available now means installed now what we have to do here notification is showing features installation now click on tools and go to internet information service manager you can see here start page tc test slash sky so this is the host name of this machine means of this server and test is my domain name and sky is user you can see here you can see sky is showing here so sky is, y is user just expand this by clicking on arrow button sites default website 
so this is the default website and uh, we have to create FTP so just right click on sites and add FTP so you can uh, enter here the name of SF, uh, sorry of FTP site if you want like uh, I am going to enter here test uh, IT PAR IVR IT fiber FTP if you want you can uh, as for your uh, requirement you can enter here the FTP name now we have to uh, select here the physical path so first we'll create FTP directory I'm going to create FTP directory in so I'm going to create FTP directory in C drive with the name of FTP and the same path will select here C drive FTP you can create FTP directory in another drive if you want just click on next all unassigned IP address so here we will select this server IP on which we are uh, setting up FTP server enable virtual host name if you want like you can see here the example ftp.contoso.com so if you want to enter such type of ftp name so you can just enable and enter here the name but i am i am going to leave it as default start ftp site automatically here the few ssls like no ssl available ssl require ssl so if you want SSL means secure socket layer so for now I am going to select here no SSL if you want you can select another options click to next there is two authentication type here anonymous and basic if you select anonymous authentication then uh, it user uh, user will be access FTP without credential so it will be not safe so we'll select means if we'll select anonymous user then it will not ask uh, username and password during FTP access so I'm going to select here basic allow access to if you want to allow all users anonymous user or a specified roles or user group if you have any group and if you want to allow all uh, users of that group so you can select group or users I am going to select here a specified user and uh, you after selecting a specified user you need to enter here the username so I am going to enter here the username SKY because I have logged in with this user on this server if you want you can uh, enter here the any other username if you uh, if you have another users uh, permission type read and write if you want to provide only read access then just select read if you want read and write both then select read write and click on finish you can see here now it for your ftp ID is 2, default ID uh, 1 is for default website. We started FTP 10.10.2 of this server, means FTP server, port number is 21, and directory is this. So I am going to click here now on the FTP site. Here are the few uh, settings like FTP directory browser, it's MS DOS, not NX. FTP current session, 
if any uh, user or any uh, your office uh, you can say colleague or user will if access the FTP then it will show here means session will be show here as right now no one is accessing the FTP so it is blank going to back FTP authorization you can see here we have allowed just SKY user if you want to allow another agent just right click add allow rule if you want for all users anonymous user this is the same setting if you want to specify user just enter here the username and select permission click ok and uh, here FTP directory browsing as I already show you this is SMS or DOS space firewall if you want external IP address of firewall if uh, so you can enter here the external IP address of firewall so that uh, uh, another network user can uh, access your SFTP your FTP and uh, FTP message banner or welcome message if you want you can enter here the banner message or welcome message like uh, welcome to it for your FTP and click apply so if user will uh, access your SFTP then this welcome message will be display on SFTP on FTP page so uh, now let us check if how we can access FTP so this is my client machine as our FTP server IP is 10.10.2 I am going to enter here tender tender 2 but you need to change this from HTTP to FTP and enter you can see it is asking username and password so as we have allowed SKY user so I am going to enter your password login yes so guys we are now able to access FTP and you can see the welcome message which I have entered in the uh, FTP setting welcome message welcome to IT Parivar FTP now you can see here there is no directory is showing here so just we are going to FTP server and uh, we'll create few folders in FTP directories like test test and let us jump on FTP page and refresh yes so you can see here the directory is test is visible now again we are going to open this folder and we are going to create any files like test and any other files bitmap image any other site sorry any other uh, file or folder and let us check now if it is visible or not here so just refresh and open this test directory you can see all files which we have created on the FTP server directory all are showing here so guys I hope this is clear to you how you can set up FTP server on Windows Server 2016 and uh, I hope it is also clear to you how you can access FTP uh, and how you can create uh, files in FTP directories and access 
so now I am going to close this page and I hope this video will be really helpful for you so guys I want to request you to again please subscribe my channel for new upcoming videos and uh, click on bell icon so that you can uh, you can get uh, new videos notification and if you have any confusion or if you want any support from my side please leave your comment and uh, share this video with your friends thanks bye bye